Hi, I'm Active I'm going over Ever After High dolls and using the Doll Act website and letting you know which dolls will be added to my wish list and which ones won't. Ever After High is one of my favorite doll lines, so I'm not going to be that picky. So keep that in mind. Most of them are going to be on my wish list um, for dolls, and then I'm just going to go in the order that they have. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if there will be a part two or how many parts will be in this, but yeah. Let's just get into it. So we have Royals first is what they have. So we have Apple White. I, okay, there's, some of the characters got re-releases and I don't, I don't need both. So I have a few Ever After High dolls. So I have Apple, the re-release. I don't need a second one. Is she cool? She has more detail. Um, their faces like, and makeup are changed. Obviously their outfits are changed. Like mine just has red shoes. This one has red and gold. Um, but I don't, I don't need a new one. Um, would it be cool to have another one? Yeah. Same for Briar. I have the re-release, so I don't need her. We have Ashlyn and Ella. I really like this one. have really wanted her. I love her shoes. Like, they crawl up her legs. That's super cute. I love her dress. Um, she looks so pretty. Then we have Blondie Locks. Love Blondie Locks. I love her outfit. I love these dolls because they are what the dolls like walk around wearing so like these are obviously going to be my favorite she looks so good here i have one of the dolls and she looks to have like almost the same exact headband as this i think mine's smaller i don't remember i don't know if mine is actually still wearing her headband but i love blondie Locke. she looks so good here we have dexter charming um in his signature look i love him as well i love everything about the doll i feel like ever after i always gets <laughs> I was making, I was looking at his hair, um, you know, people get mad because, like, they have chunky accessories, but I don't care, plastic, I guess, anyways, his hair looks kind of fun in that, um, then we have Lizzie Hearts, I never realized her hair looks like that in the signature look, um, still really cute, love her look, love the red, black, and gold, I love Lizzie, we have Duchess Swan as well, super cute love her look love her dress i don't really have a lot to say duchess is one of my top dolls that i want faye bell is also on my top dolls have come close to getting her twice have been disappointed actually no bunny was the one i got almost twice but come close to getting her once um she keeps evading me so i will i will get her one day then we have holly o'hare really love this doll i kind of wish holly had longer hair in doll form like there was one that would just be you know to the floor because she's supposed to have like really long hair but whatever Betty Blanc told ya what I almost got her twice still can't get her it's okay one day bunny I will get you um really like her though we have Alistair Wonderland also really like him um I love the boy dolls forever after high um yeah, he's very simple, though, compared to some of the others. We're getting into, like, later releases, so I feel like they're getting a little bit more boring and less makeup. You can really notice it on Justine, um, but really like her. I love her look here. Uh, and then we have Farah. Good fairy. Also really want Farah. Love her. She's a fairy, so obviously don't need me Shell Mermaid because I have her. I'm so excited. I think I'm missing, like, the chest piece, but it's okay because she looks so good here. So pretty love this doll own her crystal winters also want i used to be like no to her and um the other one i can't remember her name we'll see her eventually uh but i have changed my mind i do really like her and then i have daring charming so i don't need him but yeah have him and then here are the re-releases i have both of the re-releases apple and fryer let's go to the rebels to take a look at them we have Raven Queen, who I do have. I have a re-release, to be honest. I didn't really notice that many changes when it came to Raven and the re-release, other than I assume probably her face. But, yeah, I noticed a lot more on Apple and Briar. Um, anyways, then we have Madeline Hatter. Really want her. Obviously, she's iconic. Really would be nice to have her, but I don't have her. We have Hunter Huntsman. Recently got him. So excited about that. So I have him. And I also recently got Cerise. I don't know which one I have, if it's the re-release or not. 
But nonetheless, I have her, so I don't need her. We have CA Cupid, also have her, so sorry, CA Cupid, not my list. I don't have her wings, though, which I guess I want. I want those. And her bow, or her arrows. I have her bow, not her arrows, but anyways. Then we have Cedarwood. Really like Cedarwood. I love how she looks here. Um, I wish she had, like, more curls, but that's okay. Then we have Poppy O'Hare. Love Poppy. Um, I still don't have any Poppy doll. That was, like, the thing, like, growing up, I wanted at least one ever, ever, oh, my gosh, one ever after high character. And there's a few that I don't have. Um, and Poppy's one of them from, like, the original, like, first whatever. And then we have Kitty Cheshire. Also really love her. Um, one of my top dolls that I want is Kitty. Uh, we have Ginger Breadhouse. Love Ginger. I love her look. Um, she definitely looks different here. Like, I, I swear, I've seen stock images where she looks different. Um, I feel like her colors kind of blend together, but that's okay. Then we have Darling Charming. I love how she looks here. Um, also, one of my favorite dolls, too, a part of the signature lineup. Rosabella Beauty, I did not know, was a rebel. I always thought she was a royal. Same for Darling. Well, no, I knew that Darling was a rebel, but I always thought she would be considered a royal. Um, let me Melody Piper own her, so I don't need her. Um, but uh, she looks so good. I love her so much. We have Mira Shards. Um, not surprised that... No, I'm surprised that she's a rebel. I feel like she would, she would want to be a royal. Um, also didn't want her originally, but changed my mind really want this doll super cute we have jillian beanstalk love her i love her look i love her leggings too um super fun um character and then we have nina thumbbell also one that i don't have but really want love her shoes and this is the one that i talked about that i didn't want courtly jester i don't know i just didn't love her character when it came out but obviously i i want her and then here are the re-releases they have cerise maddie and raven and i have the raven re-release and i think i have the cerise re-release but i don't remember what her face looks like making our way into solo releases we have this one which i didn't know existed it's like a partnership with something it's called bonnie locks but clearly it's apple white um not really my favorite sorry we have just sweets blondie i didn't know that she was her own release um super cute same for ca cupid had no clue that i thought she looks like another doll but really really like her look um her material some of them look a little cheap but i think she looks so pretty here and then we have uh royal ever nope yeah royal ever after apple white i think it's this is not supposed to be like legacy like what are these from nonetheless they look super pretty i did try to look up what their original price was and i couldn't find it so <laughs> um the raven one looks just like the collector raven um that they have but like obviously this one's less detailed but she still looks so good and then we have styling uh holly o'hare and this is what i was talking about like why does she not have insanely long hair but that's okay i still actually really want this is doll um <laughs> I know she's got molded. And then same for Ashlyn Ella. I also really want this doll. Um, and then the Magic Arrow Raven Queen. I don't know why, but I really like this one. I think she's so pretty. Obviously, she's got molded legs, but at least she has a little bit more um, like detail. And I, I really like how it turned out. We also have the San Diego Comic Con, which we're just going to gloss over it because I can't I can't be obsessed with them. But we have Cerise, Raven, and Cedarwood. Out of all of them, Cedarwood is my absolute favorite. I think hers is so cute really want her obviously cerise as well and then raven legacy day so this is movies and specials line um so legacy day which that's what i thought those other two dolls were from but clearly not with uh, anyways apple white obviously these ones are going to be ones that look so good because i feel like i remember them being kind of expensive when they came out but maybe i'm wrong i know the throne coming ones were but anyways Apple White looks absolutely amazing. I absolutely love Apple White's dolls. And yeah, I, I don't have anything else to say there. Just that I love them. And I know people, I, I didn't like her character, but I love her dolls. We also have Raven Queen. I love the pants look with like the cape. I think that looks so cute. Um, really fun. We also have a Briar Beauty here. 
and she looks amazing as well like I love her um dress with like the cape I love capes Maddie is probably one of my favorites because I feel like it fits her character so well she looks so cute also her face is just really pretty um they're gonna end up using this pattern for Ashlyn Ella like every single doll she gets they pretty much use this pattern and I'm not mad because I I really actually like the the pattern it's cute but yes Ashlyn Ella looks amazing and then obviously we we got Cerise Hood which also looks really pretty love her a lot I love her outfit um next we got throne coming which does have two separate lines so we'll we'll show so we have apple white and I did put apple white on my list of dolls that I want because I don't have her top piece um so like if I get that then like I'd be set but I do technically have the dress I just don't have that um I think it's a plastic piece. Anyways, we have Raven Queen as well. Probably one of my lesser favorites, but I do think that she still looks really good. We have Blondie. I like her dress, um, but I don't know. It kind of looks, I don't know. It's just, I know from like experience, Apple White's dress does not look like that, um, or at least I can't get it to lay, so I have a feeling hers won't. See, I cute, but I feel like it's the one that everyone goes after. Like, they love her. And then we have Briar Beauty, which I think she looks boring compared to the others but she does come with a playset and I do really want that playset so then we have the throne coming budget which they later released but I did put all of them on my list because I do really like how they look yeah they're plain boring compared to the others but I think they're still really cute and they have very little articulation keep that in mind we have Briar Ashlyn and Maddie which is an interesting choice that they only did three out of the six dolls but that is completely fine and yeah um I think I'm gonna stop here okay just because there's a bunch more and I don't want to like go ahead of myself so we're gonna stop here at throne coming I know it's gonna be a short video um and I could make it a little bit longer but anyways I'm Max Crab thanks for watching let me know your thoughts on these ever after high dolls that you saw and which ones made it to your list were you way more picky than I am because like I'm I'm not gonna be able to be picky with these dolls I love them so much um, but anyways, I'm Dr. Pop. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!